kids, welcome back to Hannah's Bug. As you might remember from the update, my producer and camera dog, Granuli, accidentally deleted some footage from episodes 6 and 7. So let me ask you, what would Chris Hemsworth do? Yeah. He would use the footage from those episodes and make one big episode. So here it is, episode 67, where I show you how to disassemble the doors, remove the glass, and strip the interior. To remove the under door panel, there's a spring behind the door handle and the window crank. To remove it, you have to remove the pin that holds this together by pushing this back and grabbing a hammer and hammering it out. I'm using a quarter inch drive ratchet extension to hold the panel back. As you can see, it released before the pin was out. Don't expect that to happen. And this one came out like it was supposed to. On the passenger side, once you're done removing all the retaining clips, you would have to lift up the handle to remove it from the body. However, on the driver's side, you don't have to worry about that. You can just remove all the pins. Panel is off. Now that I have the inner door panel out, I can start disassembling the door. Go. Hopefully, I didn't just.
take out the inside track, there is another screw that's holding it in. About here. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the message. When it becomes time to remove the door from the body, the door hinge has four screws. You will need a number four Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws. And you can't use anything smaller, otherwise you will strip the heads. Now, to actually break the screws loose, you may need some extra leverage. If you can grab a Phillips head with a square shaft, then you're already set. However, I need I got one with a round shaft, so I had to grind it flat for a place to have my wrench hold on using my bench grinder. The easiest way to break the screws loose is to push the screwdriver into the screw really hard with your hip so that it won't move, then push down on the wrench with your hand. on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. To remove the windows, if you're going to save the seal, what you would do is take a screwdriver and then push the seal in and out. However, if you're not going to save it, you can just grab a knife and cut through the middle here, like that. It makes it easier. And since I'm not going to save the seal, that's what I'm going to do. Now, we peel this back and out. You're going to use a screwdriver, push it in, and push the window out. Came out easier than I thought it would. And by a lucky chance, it's not broken. updated as information becomes available. This station will now cease transmission, so please use your battery-powered radio tuned in to 9.20 a.m. for further information. As always, this show is filmed in front of a live studio audience.